Hello, Leo, and welcome to your 2022 outlook and forecast with me, Elizabeth. This is going to be a general message for Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to be using mostly Oracle cards for this reading. Again, it's going to be a general outlook and forecast for the whole year of 2022. I have one tarot deck that we're going to be pulling from, and it's Major Arcana only. We will use that to uh, show your environment. So as always, I call in the divine with love and with light. And let's start with the message from a Chakra Oracle deck. So thank you, angels. Thank you, spirit. Please help me guide my beautiful Leos for, um, for the whole year of 2022. Highest and best message for the Leo Collective for 2022. All right, Leo, let's see what we have for you. Oh, nice, Leo. We get self-mastery here. So this is so beautiful. This is coming out um, over the solar plexus chakra. So this is uh, fire energy. It's your inner sun. But you see here we have this being, this light being, this person, uh, who all of the chakras are aligned. So there's an alignment. It's a number... 15 of self-mastery. So this is your inner son. This is your will, your determination. It's having a healthy ego, making healthy decisions. This is the action that you take out into the world and it's in alignment. Even your hands are illuminated here. So this is like a, such an amazing way to start self-mastery. This is going to be a great year for you. So let's move on to your environment. We're going to be using the first light tarot and we'll get you a major arcana. So thank you, angels. Thank you, spirit. What is the environment for my dear Leos for 2022? Yes, we get the emperor. The emperor does have a mastery and it's fellow fire energy. Aries coming in. It says order logic, stability, and plans. So this is where you're going to be very abundant, very successful. He is the king of all kings. It's the energy of the father, the divine masculine, going along with that solar plexus energy there. So I'm seeing where you're going to be very successful in business, very successful with um, any action that you take out into the world, there's a will and a determination that Aries energy of the Ram, it really takes action. So it seems like this is going to be a year of, of action for you, um, divine will. Um, where there's really like uh, something that's inspiring you. There's a passion. There's a determination for you. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, Leo. So let's get you an archetype card. And this will represent how you are affecting the energies. Exactly what you are going to be embodying this year. And as always, these are generals. So only take what resonates and leave the rest. So thank you, angels. Thank you, spirit. Okay, we got a jumper and we are going to take it. This is amazing. We get the engineer. So ability to get give creative energy, a practical expression, talent for designing resolutions to common dilemmas. I'm feeling this is uh, from a galactic perspective as the energy of the Arcturians. So you may have like, you may be an Arcturian star seed. One of your higher dimensional aspects is from Arcturia. You've lived lives there. Um, the Arcturians bring in the sacred geometry. They are like higher level engineers. Some of you could be engineers, but um, it's really beautiful beautiful because this is about your ability to take all of your creativity, right? And give it a practical expression, actually go out and do something with it. This is where you're the architect of your own life, you know? So you're really like creating higher level stuff. Um, engineers, like there's, um, such an intelligence behind, um, behind people who are engineers. They're very, very smart, but it's showing where, again, you have creative inspiration. You have passion. That's the fire energy of the emperor, but you're actually like, um, you're making plans around it. Like you're doing the work. So I see you're very hard at work this year. You're really going to be building something. So along with that, let's get you an angel guide and see what angel 
guide what energy of the angelics is supporting Leo. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, angels. Okay. Nice. You're protected. So know that while you're out, I'm sorry about the lighting. I'm just trying to keep it brighter. Um, know that while you're out doing these things, this self mastery that you have, this great determination, um, these plans that you have for the year, um, these resolutions that you've made, you're being protected. This is Archangel Michael that's coming in. He has the sword and the shield. Your angels are really coming in strong for you. So nothing's going to be able to block this. Know that if you come up against challenges, it says um, in the engineer card that you're going to have a talent for designing resolutions to common dilemmas. So it feels like your challenges won't be too big. They'll be more um, everyday obstacles or challenges and you're going to have like the sort of shield to like shield out um more problems from coming in and the sword to kind of like cut through things to um rid yourself of uh obstacles things that get in your way you're highly protected like i said i see that as archangel michael that's coming in for you for 2022 saint michael archangel michael all right, moving on, let's get you an animal totem and see what animal is prominent for you in 2022. Let's get you an animal spirit. So thank you to the animal kingdom. Highest and best messages for my beautiful Leos. Please help me guide Leo for the year 2022. Leo. Nice. See the inventor. I love this. It's so funny. The engineer, the inventor. I feel like you're really, you have plans. Like you're really creating something. It says decide what you really want. You have the ingenuity to claim it. Avoid feeling the trickster and practice in avoid being the trickster and practice integrity. You have many roles and can juggle them well. So we see this sort of little group of raccoons. They are very industrious. I love raccoons. I think they're so cute. Um, this one raccoon is sort of looking at this butterfly, you know, flying and thinking like, how can I fly? That's what I feel like he's saying. Like, that butterfly is so cool. How can I do that? Like, how can I get wings and fly? They're sitting on in a pine tree. So we see a nod to pine cones, which is like a pineal gland activation. So this is also about your being a visionary. Inventors are visionaries. Engineers are visionaries. It's uh, getting into the details, you know, and really putting in the work. Like you have great ideas. So 2022 is going to be a year of ingenuity, inventions. I feel like, you know, you could be um, doing something brand new, like you're reinventing the wheel. Um, I know that there's like sort of like a verse from the Bible that says there's nothing new under the sun, which to some degree is true. But you know, when like, you're going to have a brilliant idea and maybe other people have done something similar, but they haven't done it the way that you've done it. And that's how I see with those sort of two raccoons that are just looking off into the distance. But that one raccoon, he's staring right at that butterfly and that pine cone is like activating his third eye. So remember, all of your chakras are activated. You're not using just one in particular. They're all active. So like you're feeling very stable uh the root chakra your finances are going to be good your sacral chakra you're able to feel your feelings there's creativity you feel safe uh, expressing your vulnerabilities and reaching out to other people for help. Your solar plexus is on. That's your will, your determination, the action you take out into the world. Heart chakra is open, throat chakra open. And then here's where your pineal gland gets more activated with these visions that you're having, these inventions and the crown, your connection to spirit. It's all there for you. So beautiful. All right, so let's get you one last message. I'm using Sacred Creators Oracle by Chris Ann, who I love so much. And let's get you one last message. 
like even this reading, it just feels, um, it's going very fast. So it's sort of like a fast moving energy that's happening uh, for Leo. Okay, yes, I love this. Um, this is sort of the energy of, I, I see it as like you're rising early, you're crowing at the break of dawn, it's the rooster, celebrate your wins. So it's a number 49. Okay, so 49 may mean something to you. Fours, nines, um, the four going back to the emperor, the nines about completions, wish fulfillment, celebrate your wins. So it's like with every small step that you take, that's the engineer, the ability to give creative energy, practical expression, one step at a time, one thing at a time. Um, the raccoon says that you have many roles and you can juggle them well. So even if you're like, you have a lot of a lot going on, you're juggling a lot, uh, each small thing that you do and you succeed at and you finish, celebrate it. Take time to celebrate, you know. Uh, it can't be all work and no play. I think that's one of the messages. If you're rising early and burning the midnight oil, it's gonna be a busy year for you because you have a plan. Uh, also know, again, I just think that the protector angel is so incredible for you. Like, it's really, really high level. There's a reason why you're getting this protector angel because um, this is like divinely guided for you. It's something like you're really supposed to be doing because you're in alignment. That's the message from the chakra card. You're totally in alignment. So when you're in alignment, it's like all of your team is around you to make sure that you um, are protected, that nothing can come in and disrupt that. So, all right, Leo, that was your message. Um, if you would like to book a personal session with me or even just inquire about one, there's no obligation. You can send me an email, elizabethlight1111 at gmail.com. Feel free to follow me on Instagram, elizabethlighttarot. Say hello. I would love to connect with you, get to know you. So have a very, very auspicious new year. Have a beautiful celebration. I love you so very much, Leo. Take good care and I will see you all soon. Namaste.